So here in this video, we are going to learn how to create a Nyquist plot in MATLAB with just few lines of code. So let's get started. What is Nyquist plot? The Nyquist plot is a graphical tool used to analyze the stability and frequency response characteristics of a system. And I assume that when you are here searching for how to create Nyquist plot in MATLAB, then you are aware about what is Nyquist plot. But in case if you want to brush up the things about Nyquist plot, then you can watch this video specially made to give you a clear idea about Nyquist plot and its use. So either you go there right now or you can watch it later on. Now let's get back to this video. Here I will tell you how to create Nyquist plot from transfer function in MATLAB. So to do that, first let me tell you, when do we actually use Nyquist plots? The control system engineers use the Nyquist plot to design and analyze the systems. For example, let's say an autopilot system. They model the aircraft and autopilot system as a transfer function and then plot the Nyquist diagram to assess the stability. The Nyquist plot helps to evaluate the system's response to the disturbances, determine the stability and understand the robustness and the performance through the gain and phase margins. So here in this video, I'll tell you how to create Nyquist plot using transfer function. So let's jump to our M file. So this is our M file. This is the file which I have used in our previous video where I have explained how to create body plot for the transfer function, right? So if you want to learn that too, you can refer my previous video or else right now here we are going to learn how to create the Nyquist plot. So let's say we'll take the same function, right? We'll copy these things, paste over here. Uh, let's start with the simple function. So this is the transfer function which we are going to implement first and then we'll create a Nyquist plot for this transfer function. So in order to create transfer function, we're supposed to write this line and now we'll write the command to create the Nyquist plot. Then write our transfer function and that is stored in this variable SYS. So we'll write Nyquist of SYS and there we go. Just run this section. So first let us make this as a section. So now we'll run this much only. So this is our Nyquist diagram for this transfer function. Now let's close it. Here we have implemented only one Nyquist diagram in a figure. But what if you want to implement multiple Nyquist diagram in single figure to compare the responses of different transfer function? So for that, we'll do small modification. So here we have added one more numerator and denominator. We'll create one more transfer function. And we'll name it as SYS1. Now in order to have multiple transfer function in one figure, you're supposed to add it over here. When you write Nyquist, it will ask you to write the transfer function so here it is first transfer function it is first system and then it asks to write second system so here we'll write sys1 break it over and now let's run so here you can see we have created two Nyquist diagram in single figure the third section is pretty much interesting section here I'll tell you how to customize your Nyquist diagram so in order to have customization, let's say we'll add one more transfer function over here and we'll modify it. So this is my first transfer function SYS and I want to plot it with the red line. So I'll write R. The next transfer function is SYS1. Uh, let's say I want to plot it with blue line. So I'll write it blue and the line must be dashed line, right? So I'll write double dash. And then let's say my third system is SYS2 and I want to make it green and let's say I want to make that graph with X marks, right? So let's say X bracket over and let's run. So there we go. That's how we can customize this Nyquist diagram to satisfy our need. One more thing you can do over here. Let's close it and write grid 
on let's run so that will give you a good idea about the grids so that's how you can create nikes diagram in matlab if you are interested in learning how to create nicolas plot in matlab then you can refer this video or if you want to learn how to create a body diagram in matlab then you can refer this video and if you are interested in learning creating other varieties of diagram using matlab then you can refer this playlist so see you in the next video